Okay, so just a, a quick couple of tips here for uh, changing a chain on a uh, trike, on a recumbent trike. Um, these are little couple of tips here really just to save you searching for a long time on, on YouTube for a first time changer. So I've just changed the, uh, the chain on the 2009 QNT from ICE. Um, that, uh, the chain basically I had on before just broke, we had one of the links went, um, probably putting a lot of tension on now from the 250 watt motor. So uh, one of the links came apart, decided I was going to change the, the whole chain because I've got no idea what, what the history of this to the other chain was and didn't really want to put a whole new bunch of new links in there or several more quick links so I decided to change it. What I went for was a, uh, a KMC E9 EPT chain. That's a KMC E9 EPT. Um, the reason I went for that chain was it's supposed to be designed to use with um, electric mid motors like this one. I'm using the Tongsheng TSDZ2 um, 250 watts which is the uh, street legal max in uh, Great Britain. And um, it just seems, it's quite a light chain actually. I think it's originally designed for mountain bikes, but they've said that they've strengthened it and made it just a little bit beefier um, to cope with the extra torque that's required from a, a motor. So a couple of little things which you, uh, which you might want to look up on YouTube and this will hopefully just help you out. One is how are you going to get the chain through these tubes? So here you've got the tubes that run, as you can see, all the way back there. You've got the little pulley system halfway along and that there runs, there you go, all the length and halfway up to the derailleur at the back. So how are we going to get those chains through the tubes? Well, it's a fairly simple system. All you need to use is one of these. And all that is, let me just step back so you can see it properly. All that is, is a coat hanger. It's a wire coat hanger which has been uh, straightened. And then if we just look at the end there, you just make a little loop right there. Look. There we go. And that loop there you put round put into one of the links and you just literally take your coat hanger and you just feed it in to those and feed it through it'll slot out the other side and then you just pull your chain through so nice and simple you can actually do it on that uh, top part of the chain there which goes through the the pulley at the bottom um, that wire will go through there and pull the chain right through so you don't need to detach all of your tubes as some people do. You can just actually pull it right the way through. Second question you probably will have is regarding the, uh, you know, how long is the chain supposed to be? On a 2009 uh, Q QNT, the original chain that's sold um, for this trike is basically what they do is they send you a chain which is three times 116 links so you're looking at a chain which is 348 links in actual fact the correct length will probably be around 297 298 links so what you'll need to do is shorten that chain and if you know how to shorten a chain then it's a it's a fairly simple process just use your quick links there but how long should the chain actually be well basically the the, the consensus is that if you place um, the chain on one of the middle, middle cogs, this one or this one, one of the middle cogs there, and you put it on the middle cog at the front, so the middle chain ring at the front, middle chain ring here, when you, uh, when you then put tension on the chain, this derailleur here should point basically down at six o'clock. There it's at about five o'clock right now should point down at about six o'clock so if you've got the derailleur at six and you've got the uh, uh, chain on the middle chain ring here and the middle chain ring at the front then you should be about about set and ready to go you can put your quick link in and that will sort that out for you we'll do a little video at some point uh, about just uh, using the, uh, the chain tool but for now those are the couple of things really which I just had in my mind 
when I wanted to, to uh, change the chain, what chain should I use? Well, you can use the original chain from the manufacturer if you want to. They seem to work fine with motors. I'm not sure they really require a specialist chain like this one, but if you want absolute peace of mind as I did, then I thought, well, do you know what? I'll spend the extra few bucks. Cost of each of the chain, the chains come in 116 link packs. Uh, 25 pounds a pack so it was 75 pounds for the the three chains so 75 pounds in total I think it'll be a little bit cheaper if you order from ice I think there's somewhere around about 45 pounds I think it is plus shipping so probably about 50 quid for the chain from them so you are paying you know a third in premium for this kind of chain but uh, I don't know we'll see if it was worth it as we uh, pedal away over the summer here but uh, those are things which just came into my mind which I just needed answered really quickly first time I was changing this chain so hopefully that might just save you a little bit of time.